So we are going to talk about something here about um, the, the the point where the price will always turn around, you know. Many of you have been watching my video for so long, you know. This is another bombshell. So you got to watch this video till the end because this is going to make a change in your own trading style, you know. We want to talk about the point where the price is going to turn around. And we want to talk about something like Bollinger Bands. You got me. The use of Bollinger Bands. We're going to forget about trend lines for now. You know, those days we used to draw some trend lines that looks like this. And say, okay, we got an important point. We got an important point. The price broke it right here. Right? Nice. Two touch. Then break. Here we have two touch. Then a break is going to happen. Let's do this one again because what we're going to do here is tell you where is the price going to turn around. All right? Listen to this and pay attention because this could be a little bit confusing. Yes. Okay. If I fit it properly this way, then I feel we got to touch. Then there's going to be a breakout. Okay? But then, what exactly am I gonna am I trying to say? I'm trying to tell you that there is a place where the price will turn around if we go and use the Bollinger Band, um, Bollinger Band of the period. Let's use twenty. Yes, twenty is what we're gonna use. Boom. Now, what is going on? Okay. Let's zoom it. See. Let's zoom it properly. Let's zoom it properly. You see. The big moves we got now currently is here. This one. It is the current big moves we got. Now, if we get this current big moves right here, where exactly did it start? You see, you want to look at a big move. The big move is where the Bollinger Band, where the price escape the middle band and make a big move. This is the current big move. Now, after the big move, I want to show you something. This is the big move. The price escape the mid band of the BB. Okay. Then after the big moves, what is at the back of your mind is that the price is going to get somewhere inside the Bollinger Band, it will be rejected. And then the price will now go back to exactly where ever the escape of the big move started. Let's see. We got sitting on the base right here. The price is coming back around here. Okay. This is why your BB is facing down because the qualities of a BB is that this is going to be a shape of an eyeglass. Oh, this is why I put on my own eyeglasses. You can see this is Bollinger Band. This eyeglass here is Bollinger Band. I put it on so that whenever I put on my eyeglasses, I do remember that Bollinger Band will form a shape of an eyeglass. This is the second eye of the glass. This is the first eye of the glass where it escaped the middle band. This is it, the first eye of the glass. This is the, you know, the, 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 the one, this one hanging to my hair. This is it. Then it's going to create the second eye, which will be exactly the same as this first one, which will bounce on this line. And then it will then create the second, um, you know, this, uh, this thing, this thing, the second one. It will create it around this zone where it will move up. And that will be the end of this, you know, of this series. Yeah. Bowling Japan is about series, but I believe that, you know, this is the simplest way to explain it. When I use the, 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 the eyeglass, you know, the eyeglass formation to explain Bowling Japan for you. You understand? There is no eyeglass with only one, one, uh, one, <laughs> one eye. It's not an eyeglass, you understand? This eyeglass have two eyes. This is 